Hello everyone, welcome to Jumper Man Tech. And today I'll be showing you guys how to properly discharge a capacitor as well as how to properly check for capacitance. Alright guys, so first things first, safety is always your priority. So the first thing you want to do here is turn off your disconnect and make sure the power is off. Once we confirm that the power is off and you have no voltage going into the circuit, Next, we can start to begin to discharge the capacitor. And the way you discharge a capacitor is by shorting out one side to the other. So you're gonna take a pair of pliers or a screwdriver, hold on to the insulator part so you don't get shocked away because this just might be your first and last capacitor you ever check. So hold on to the non hold on to the insulator part, take one side of your capacitor and just short it out by touching it to the next side. You might get a spark, you might not, but you always want to do this for safety first. Once the capacitor is discharged and you pulled off your wire so there's no feedback, so you're going to want to take a closer look at the label to know what you're dealing with. So if we look closely, this is a 20 microfarad capacitor. So when we set our meter to MFD and check for capacitance, we're going to want to get a reading of 20 microfarads. All right, so here's my meter. I'm gonna set it to this function and we're gonna wanna select it to the microfarad section. Right there. And we are looking for 20 microfarads. And the way this is checked is just by simply taking your leads and putting them across the capacitor. Sometimes you got to keep your leads there to have a build up. If we look at it, we're getting 0 0.024 microfarads. And we notice it when we're looking for 20 microfarads. This is a faulty capacitor. That's how you would check it. Next, this is a 15 microfarad capacitor. So we're going to take the same idea and we're going to put one lead on one side and the other lead on the other. And right there, look at that. 15 microfarads and that's how you check for a good capacitor and just to prove it to you guys right there that is our 15 microfarad reading and we have it and that's how you simply check a capacitor and just like that you guys are ready to start checking capacitors in the field if anybody found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe Make sure not to blow yourself up, and I'll catch you guys next time.